Look at all these fuckers. Oh my god, look at that big fucker. But look at all these- Oh my god, they see me! Fucking run! Run! <laughs> G'day cunts, my name's Wildwolf and welcome back to Satisfactory, we're back bitches! And it's a fucking plane. Pretty typical of the Wildwolf Gaming channel at the moment. So hello, before I turn around, I just want to explain to you that I just, uh, for the last day, day and a half, I say that like I've been gaming for the entirety of the day and the day and a half. The last two days I've been working off screen on shit like I said I would, because I finally got enough time. I haven't had enough time for like the past like five weeks or something, so a lot of the shit that I would have been putting off, I've done, and I still got like a tiny bit more to go. Oh my god, give me a second, look at the detail in my hands. I did not realize that. Look at my left hand like the fucking plastic kind of shit. What the f- that's so- the detail! Actually, look at the detail on the sand as well. I've never actually stopped to realize how detailed this game is. As I was saying, I've been doing shit out of episode, like some of the cosmetic shit and also some of the shit that needs to be done, like sorting. I'll show it all to you when we go back to the base, because I just came over here to quickly build some more bloody machines so we get more power. But then I'm like, uh, I'll record a video because why not? I've got the time. So I'm putting that off for now. I'm going to do that once I finish this episode. But look, we've got the fucking truck station up and running and I've got the truck. I finally had time to map the path and put down the fucking foundations and put up railings and a few pillars here and there. So it looks like aesthetically pleasing and shit is bussin'. But actually quickly, I might just switch this to be producing plastic because at the moment we don't have useful rubber over there and that's what we're going to be doing this episode. I'll explain a little bit more once we get to the mother base, the mother hub. Are they all good? Yep, plastic heavy oil residue, plastic heavy oil residue, plastic heavy oil residue. <laughs> what is it called? Wily Coyote? No, Taz Tazzy Dev Devil. Tazzy Devil. Wily Who? What's Wily Coyote? Wily Dev... I haven't watched Looney Tunes since I was a kid, I'm sorry. Oh, also, did I, did, did I show you this? I got rid of the power plant here, the water power plant, the coal power plant, and also the little thing that we did in that episode. It's the episode that we did where we built the first little oil node thing and all these doodads over here is completely useless because it's, it's gone now. <laughs> because everything that we did in that episode is gone now, but oh well, it was a learning curve. But let's take some of this shit. I don't really need this shit though, do I? I can put the plastic over there. But there's so much biomass. When did I get so much biomass? I cut down like some trees, but there wasn't enough trees where I thought it was like enough to like sustain a whole fucking colony. Oh, you little cunt, I can hear you. I'm always on edge for fucking enemies in this territory because we're new here. We're visitors that are taking over the land. So there's still shit over here that wants to fuck our shit all the way up. I'm just gonna quickly turn all this into biomass because it whittles down the amount that we've actually got but also it can transforms it into something that we can actually use rather than just leaves and wood that just sits in a fucking chest gathering dust. So I'll quickly do that. Oh, we got no room. Oh, fuck. Okay, this is taking way too fucking long. Oh my god, that's a fucking junk path if I've ever seen one. I'm just gonna leave all the shit in. A okay, that's not gonna fit in there, so I need to get a fucking container. Is it even called a container? It is. No, it's not. <laughs> all my shit's gone. Fuck! Give me all my shit, bro. Give me all my shit. Give me all my shit, bro. Give it, give it me. The shit. My shit. All of it. Yeah. Give me the shit. Yes, all of my shit. Shit. Like that? Dope. That's done. Let's go back to home base. Fuck yes. Now, one of my fellow uh, constant watchers, uh, whatever the fuck they're called, subscribers, if you may, gave me the bright idea that when they build a road to a place like this, they have... I think they said a conveyor belt for resources, but that doesn't really make too much sense if you have a truck going back and forth taking resources. But then again, it does make sense because it's just a constant flow of fucking resources. But then again, that's a fuck ton of resources to actually make this shit, the belt to go from A to B. Because like, fuck's sake, it took so much fucking metal and concrete to make this road. So... It's a good idea for short distances, short bursts of distances, but for this long stretch, not so much. And we're getting trains soon. Like that's probably gonna be like either next episode or the episode after the next episode, because it's just around the corner. We just need to make some more automated systems just so we have the automation flowing constantly. But one thing he did say, look, 
Look at all these fuckers. Oh my god, look at that big fucker. But look at all these- Oh my god, they see me! Fucking run! Run! One thing that he did say that stuck with me was a uh, fucking hypertube. Hypertube? Is that what it's called? Yeah, hypertube. He has like a hypertube on the end or underneath, I think he said. But I can't really put shit underneath because I've kind of made these roads so they're actual roads and they kind of stick to the ground. So I can't do it underneath. But I was looking and I can probably put it on the side here like this. Isn't that cool? So in future, I will look into having that. But firstly, I do want to have a look at what the trains are like, how much space they take up on a road. If I need to tear some of these roads down, like some of these turns here might be too sharp for a train or just train tracks in general to put the train on. So I'm going to figure out what to do with the trains first. Once I understand... Oh, I thought that rail... Well, it is different, but I thought it was flipped the wrong way but it's not so yeah but yeah first i want to figure out the logistics of the trains and just understand them a bit better before i start laying out different elements that i haven't used before and also also another thing that i was looking at when i built this road was look at this it's totally doable boom Look how cool that looks. Now, I'm not too sure how well my truck's going to do going through this with an automated path, but it should be all right. Like, I make the trucks so that they don't touch these corner bits as much as possible, which is very hard at times because driving, like, such a long distance can be hard to, like, just do perfectly. You've all played a car game, haven't you? You know how fucking annoying it is to get a perfect run. But wouldn't that be cool just having these on the corners like this and then just having the bloody power poles go from one way to another... Just so we can travel. We? Me. <laughs> you ain't playing this with me. Just so I can travel along wires like that. It might be a bit better to have one with a platform up top. Uh, I don't know if that would help in any way. Maybe. I don't know why we wouldn't add that onto there. But yeah, just so I can get from A to B a bit better. And if we, we have to do one or the other, the hyper tubes or the power poles. Because hyper tubes are going to go on the edge of the, of the road and then that power tower well that's cool to say power tower is prohibiting it from going around the edge so yeah that's another thing got to keep in mind and having the tractor go by just reminds me of how i actually did the mapping out because i think it takes about around 40 to 60 maybe 60 to 70 is more a more accurate bracket coal to get from the mother hub all the way to the oil hub and by the way look how cool this looks so dope. So yeah, about 50 to 60, 60 to 70. I'm going, I'm keeping going up every time I mention it. <laughs> By the time it gets back to our like main complex, it won't really have enough fuel to get from, well, why is it? Something's glistening. Is there a slug over here? The fuck? Oh, it's a summer sloop inside the tree. Why the fuck did Ada not go off the billions of times I've walked past this? <laughs> Pretty cool, bro. As I was saying for the 15th time, by the time the truck gets back from the oil residue, oil node, to our main hub, it doesn't really have enough coal to go around to pick up each part from like the uh, the steel and then the concrete. It doesn't pick things up from the concrete. Steel, copper, iron. By the time it gets all the way around to them, it's going to run out of fuel. So I've had it go from the oil all the way to the mother hub. Then it stops at the mother hub, drops off its stuff, then uh, fuels up at the mother hub, goes around, grabs all the steel, the, the fucking copper and all that shit, goes back to the mother hub, refuels, and then goes back to the oil and does all that over and over again. Just so it has enough fuel to go all the way around. And I had to get rid of the tractor in order for it to like to remap the path and all that and i did have the thought of using the truck but look at the size of the truck compared to this fucking road look at that it won't complete turns at all i didn't even try it because i could see that it just fucking wouldn't so i didn't even attempt it and also we're getting trains soon so i'm pretty sure you can add like a whole bunch of trailers trailers carts cargo carts onto the back of trains so we'll have like more than enough storage on there, I hope. So just before the episode started, I also, just like one of my subscribers said, fucking added two outputs to this because there was only the one output, just so shit goes along a lot faster. Oh, look at that. There's nothing clogging it up. 
fuck yeah, bro. These are kind of floating, these second splitters, but they're kind of really held up by themselves, having the conveyor belts like that. So that's pretty nifty. And then out the back here, because we've had so much rubber, I've had to put like a fuck ton of storage containers. Oh, not really. We don't really need all these. Yeah, we just need these ones just to put the rubber into. And also some of the plastic because the plastic was being backed up in its little doodad here, its little container. So I had the smart splitter program so that it splits off there, but also out the back here. So we're not fucking jamming everything up. Good, good. And then in here, we just got some uh, copper because I've been handcrafting AI limiters to put into here because we need an auto crafter to do that. Auto crafter, you know what I mean. Something like a, an assembler. I was going to do that out episode, but I was like, eh, we need an assembler, but we also need something to make fucking heavy modular frames as well. So we need the whole shabam. So I was like, I'll do it all in episode. We'll make an episode out of making all that shit just because we have enough to fill an entire episode. But there is one more thing I want to show you before we start doing shit. And that is... Boom! Ta-da! I finally got some fuck- I think that's lower than that one. That's really annoying me. Fuck's sake. I'll fix that later. Actually, no, they're not. Because that's on the bottom of that wall, and that's on the bottom of that wall. Weird. But yeah, I finally got some lights, and um, they really make the uh, make the biggest difference in here, because it was complete darkness. There was no, like, cracks in the wall that we could, like, get light through, other than, like, this door here, which doesn't really- give any light because it's always closed, so yeah. I had some lights in here, they look real pretty, and also I added them on the outside of the mother- that's not really the mother hub, what's it called? The- the hub. The- the home hub. Just so it shines out front there, so like, you know, visitors to our land know where like the hub hub is. But also, it just gives like a War of the world kind of feel with like the tripods just like beaming their lights to the ground, knowing like, oh damn, they mean business, so. It's pretty cool, eh? God, I'm so uncool. So first things first. AI limiter is what we need to be siphoning into this fucking manufacturer because it's the thing that we don't get the most of because we don't get any of it because I need to handcraft it. So in order to do that, we got to swap this container and this container and in this container is screws, I believe, which isn't going to be a hard swap. So really nothing's going to be going into here because we're going to have AR limiters being made here, which is going to siphon into the machine via here. So we really just need to get rid of this shit. Bada bing, bada boom. And then we will say that screws need to be put into... Is that fucking... Oh, I thought that was fucking wonky. It's just like my little cockawaka. <laughs> but we'll change it. This one to screw and... Yep, that's good. And then this one to screw like that. And all the screws will start siphoning into here, which is d -d -d dope. And then I'll just grab the rest of the screws out of here and put them into that container over yonder. Just gonna do this quickly just so I can go store all. Just so I have a lot of room just to move this shit around. I'm not going back and forth, you know. Awesome. Shit is working. Grab me all this shit back. And now let's start doing our little dance and making our little parts. Not an AI limiter, sorry. Circuit board. You guys are probably yelling at me being like, you're a fucking idiot. And like, it's true in most paths of my life. So an assembler. We need that to be in line with, I guess, this one here. So we need plastic and we need copper sheets. So we also have to go over to the copper bloody booba and make sure that copper is being fed into the truck station to be brought over here so that means we need two bloody splitters we could use this one but we'd have to go like ooh, and we don't want to do that so we're going to put another splitter right here which means we're going to get rid of you guys and now this might be backed up for a little bit because we do have rubber coming in which isn't actually going anywhere so love that for me but we're going to put this about there. No, nah, because that won't put enough distance between the two containers. And I want to have just a little bit of walkway between the containers, like I said in one of the previous episodes. Because I made that mistake in the past, where everything's just squished into like a little little confined area. And then I can't actually move around in the confined area. Also, also, I don't know if you actually notice. I'll come over here because it's a bit easier to notice. But I don't really want to go up here because I'm just going to get pushed, aren't I? Oh, they're still not perfect. What the fuck? Oh, because I haven't moved all of them back. Fuck. I got distracted. My ADHD had got the better of me. But I moved these containers back so that they're actually like in line with like these containers because the left side over here was too close to the smart splitter and this one was further away because I made it stupidly. So I fixed a little bit of it up, but I forgot to do this because the ADHD, ADHD. -ed. So I moved those uh, a bit more further out, out episode. But yeah, just thought I'd let you know because that was something that bothered me in the, one of the episodes and I said, I'll, I will you know? Yep. So put these into here and then we will get our assembler, which needs to be in line with this manufacturer to the left, but also in line with these. So that should be in the middle. Yep. Why is this so much easier than I remember? We also need another smart splitter here. So we go like this and this, and then we get rid of the middle one just in there. Boom, 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 boom. 
Boom, boom, boom. So coming off of this bad boy, we are going to want plastic. We just have to make sure the plastic is actually being siphoned out of this one. Yep to have any undefined. So it's splitting off into that container, but also coming down the line and going into that container. And we'll do that from the one above it as well. There we go. And then we're wanting copper sheets to come out of this one. Copper sheets and copper sheets. And then we're in the middle. We make sure it's any undefined. So copper sheets aren't flying through all outputs. Shit's lit. Now at the back here, we are going to put a storage container so we can have our... Actually, no. No, yes. Yes. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Very confused in the head today. Like all days. That goes in line with this and this. Then we're just going to need our typical old splitter just right here so we can have it go from out the assembler into here, into our storage container so we have some circuit boards being loaded in there for ourselves. But also, for the 15th time, I need to take the storage container down because I haven't put it in the right place nor the right direction. There we go. Now we have the belt coming out here. Coming around the corner just here. Is that in the middle? I don't believe it is. So we need to move this one back. That, is that the middle? All these bloody white lines are really confusing me. I don't know if we can actually go in the middle. I think that's as in the middle as we can put it. So that's great. There, and then we can probably just do a full uh, 360. Is that right? No, that looks a bit iffy. And you know me, I do not like iffy. There, and then like this. There we go. Bob's me uncle, and your aunt. I'm gonna get something and shove it up my ass. So through here, we want a circuit board being made. Then we can connect this bad boy up to power. Please. Thank you. Now let's grab some plastic from in here, just so I can put it all the way up towards the truck station and see if this plastic actually siphons through correctly. There we go. All this plastic is in there. All the plastic's going through. It is siphoning off into that one, but not the one down yonder. Because we need this to be any, don't we? Yes, I have messed up. Delete your comments from before. But that is working perfectly now. Too easy. Now let's go over to the copper place. Not the place where the pigs are kept, <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> I feel bad saying that because my uncle's a cop and my uncle's like really nice and I'm a lot like him. So sorry, Uncle Rhett. But here we are. We have to get this copper sheets being led from over here and then up here, which should be pretty easy considering we have a little spare uh, merger input in there. So we just need to get rid of the side of this. So we can extend it over a tiny bit. Chuck a cheeky foundation there. Chuck three up here. Ooh, go back. There we go. And then we just need to chuck some walls on this bad boy. Just so she's not looking a little bit weird. This goes down here. This goes down. Oh, gee, that's a long way down. And this one goes... Gee, it's a, it's a truly far way down. There we go. And this one two. And this one three. <laughs> hey! Fuck, we're out of iron plates. Never did I think I'd see the day. We actually had a no Fuck's sake. Well, now we're sitting in this chair. We actually just had enough to make that wall. That was really well timed. I'm, I was nearly going to say planned, but there's no fucking planning in this head going on right now, buddy. Fucking love that sliding mechanic. Best thing they've ever put into this game. God damn, is this place ugly now? I really need to like figure out the cosmetics of this place because there's just so many fucking wires going every everywhere. Where like these don't need to be here because they can be like placed on here and stretched out from up there. But <sighs> and then also all of these need to be upgraded to a level two. But hey, look! Floodlights are flooding. Looks really cool. And also I did add the little belts coming out here, like one of my subs. Reminded me to do, and it looks pretty cool. Let me grab a load more of this shit. Maybe a few more rods as well. Alrighty, we're back with the resources to complete this singular wall. Alright, boys, we done. Let's go home. <laughs> Lol, JK, there's still so much to be done. I think I said this in episode, I uh, made all these machines go like 50% of the production speed just because we were getting so much fucking wire and so much fucking cable, but now we're actually not getting enough, so I put them all up to 100% again. And like, I might need to put a power stock into these because they aren't actually pushing out as much shit as I want them to. But for now, I need a place to put all of this bloody copper sheets because we have way too much of it and I also need to put a container down just to put all my shit in so that we are able to move the copper across a lot more faster. Oh, there actually isn't that much in there. <laughs> Store all. Take these boys. Get rid of you. Awesome. So it's pretty much the exact same shit that's happening here. So like that and then up here like 
that. Then we just have a belt going from A to B. I might actually put another ladder just on this side. We have one on the left, but we don't have one on the right. There we go. And then pretty simple, just have you coming out here and then twisting go in here. I'm actually do the same for over here because that's going to annoy me that that is different. Boom. That looks sexy. So now we're gonna have copper sheets being fed into the truck station as well as in here for us to collect when need be. And we can probably get rid of this and put all the remaining copper sheets into here. And I'll keep a few for me. Beautiful. Also, I apologize if my energy isn't all the way up there. I'm feeling a little bit drowsy today. I don't know if it's because I'm getting sick because the weather is changing from hot to cold because it's currently autumn at the time of filming this. The main probable reason for it is because my sleep schedule is fucked to the moon and back and maybe a little bit to Mars and back too, so <laughs> forgive me. Dude, watching these fucking trucks get stuck puts me in a, in a constant state of panic just because sometimes I stay there for like a minute or two. I'm like, do I, do I gotta like fucking redo all this shit? Recalibrate you? Because I ain't, I ain't about that. Wait, why are we being fed up with plastic now? Oh, because I haven't fucking done you. God damn it. It's all the small things. Q bloody blink 182. I can't believe I said 182 and not 182. Who am I? A fake flan. Fake flan. I'm so tired. Oh wait, you have to be any undefined because I don't want any more pl plastic being let out of this. Okay. And I also got to connect this back up to this because we're going to have rubber being put through here soon. That's going to clog up the entire fucking ecosystem. What do we use rubber for? Oh, that's right. The modular engine. Yeah. Oh, we need smart plating over here too. Fuck me, mate. Ah! What do we need for this? Heavy modular frames on the computers. God damn it. And also the automated wiring. Oh, there's so much fucking thought. That needs to be put into this. And the bloody circuit board. Oh, this place is gonna be a mess. Which side should I put the heavy modular frames on? Because circuit boards and computers are being made over here, but also the bloody whatever else we need is being made over here. The engines. Oh wait, hang on. No, we might be good. No, no, all this automated wiring's being made over here. We don't really have the room over there to make the modular frames at the moment because we need to expand out the right. We'll make it over on this side. And then you know what? We might do the unthinkable and make a second level because in order for us to make the adaptive control unit and the modular engine, we need to combine things from like everything on on this basic first level. So rather than us having like things snake around all these machines or like even be put onto a second conveyor belt going across and then down back onto the first level, we might as well just have everything be put onto a second level. Yeah, we'll do that. But right now, I'm going to get a storage container over here just so I can siphon off all of this rubber that's in here. Rather than like dismantling this and then having the remains there and having to transfer them over there. And that will go pretty fucking quickly. I got some yogurt. It's the best thing I've ever had. Also, forgive me, my roommate just got home with his girlfriend, so there might be some noise in the background. So, we need another fucking manufacturer. Okay, got you. So we need four fucking smart splitters. <laughs> so let's get on that, shall we? We get rid of these conveyor belts that I just hooked up. We can get, what, one every like so often for like one gap there and another gap there. And then one more gap. Come on. There we go. We're going to the ends of the earth to make this one. Or just the platform. Come on, faster, faster. I actually don't think that's all going to fit in there. So we're going to put another one just behind this one. Here we go. There we go. What do we actually need to make heavy modular frames? Modular frames, pipes, encased industrial beams, which are going to have to add into the lot of what gets transported over here via the truck station, which shouldn't be too hard because, yeah. <laughs> heavy. Modular, f no, not hip. That's what we're making. <laughs> we just need a standard modular frame. Bada bing. Then we need encased industrial beams. Bada bing. Then set this to any undefined. Then we need pipes. Bada bing. And any undefined. And then we need screws. Bada bing. And any undefined. So that should help because screws, plastic, and pipes are the three things that fucking clog this shit up. So now the steel pipes can go into another thing, which we actually need to set over here, which is steel pipes. This one. It's really annoying though, because it's got cable coming through there as well. Shit. I'm going to have to research out of episode how to actually make that smart smart splitter, whatever it's called. The upgrade from the smart splitter. Unless for the moment. No, we can't. I was going to say have cable being fed through there and then not have it being fed through here, but have pipes being fed through here, but not through up there but we can't define that through what's being taken out of the actual truck station. So yeah, I'll research how to make those smart splitters out of episode and I'll implement them out of episode probably. But we need all these being split off into bloody storage containers. One there. Well, first actually, let me make all this properly 
so that I um, everything is complete and ready to be siphoned in. Beautiful, and boom, boom, boom. That looks really nice with it just like that, but <laughs> get rid of it. I, I can't actually get up there. Oh no, I can use the ladder. <laughs> Jeez, I'd be silly some days. Ah, oh, fuck, are these containers sticking together? They are. Fuck, they need to be one more further apart. <sighs> How annoying. Ruddy, dismantle everything. So I do need to extend this out just by one. So let me get rid of this. So we don't double up on the amount of walls that we're using. And then extend this out by unos. There you go. And while I'm here, I might as well put some walls up because last time I forgot that and it took forever for me to actually come over and place them there. Uh-huh. And uh-huh. Oh, wait. <laughs> One more. Dude, look how fucking fast I get sucked out with two level four belts. That's insane. Real life could never. So what, I put this just one before? It needs to be two? Yeah. Oh, they got a new vacuum cleaner. <laughs> new vacuum cleaner. It goes very, very well with the sucky sucky. Just like me. <laughs> you could take that either way if you want. Sucking at this game or just sucking cock. Alrighty, look at all these fucking storage containers. Aren't these cool? Look at this. It's like one of the best elements of this game is the sheer size you get, but like also the sheer amount of fucking OCD itching of the brain you can get just by the how clean it looks sometimes. So let's link these bad boys up. Boom, 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 and boom, boom. He's still unloading. You're going so fast, yet so slow. I could just do the rest. Fucking machines. Can't even trust machines. Holy shit, we've got a fuck. Oh, actually, this isn't full. This one over here isn't full. It's still pulling stuff out. Okay, cool. Do we have enough to make a manufacturer? I'm used to having enough shit to make assemblers and shit, but manufacturer, yeah, we do. Because I made a, a whole heap of modular frames before just because I knew I'd need them sooner rather than later and I wouldn't want to like have to seek out the materials to go get them just to make one simple thing so yeah middle right there I believe yes and is that in line with that yes it is <laughs> oh shit be woke there we go there we go there we go and there we go <laughs> looks like a fucking harvester you know the thing that lightning mcqueen and Mater were uh, chased after in cars one <laughs> in the farm so for now we're just going to pull that out into a storage container what are you in line with that's not in line with the, what i want it to be here we go and then out of episode i'm going to brainstorm the best way to like siphon everything into one machine so everything can be like making everything it needs to to complete phase Three. Look how cool that looks over there. God damn, I love this game sometimes. Other times, I have several brain aneurysms, and I feel like I'm bleeding out of every crevice and gaping hole on my little human boy body. Body? Body, sorry. English, you know. First language, but sometimes it's not. So is that all? Oh, no, I need to reprogram these. Damn it. And any undefined. And let's link all this shit. And... We are off to the markets with that one. Then we're going to just attach this bad boy all the way over yonder to uh, this bad boy. And how are we doing for power? Because I've been like feeding so much power and not really making it much more power. Oh no. Max consumption. Oh no. <gasps> Dude, we're above capacity line, but I don't think we are ever. Maybe like one in a trillion chance. Not ever going to hit the, that line. But you know that fucking, that quote, like if something bad can happen, it will happen. So it will happen eventually. <laughs> but hopefully I can get the power from the fuel generators connected up to here before that one in a trillion ha chance happens. Look at that. <laughs> God damn, it's cool. So I added some, uh, I don't know if I showed you this, some more storage just onto the middle connection parts here, just so that when there's more than enough, oh my God, look at me stators. Cause this line is usually filled up with stators, same with this one over here. So I've just added storage containers so it can store stators rather than having it all backed up. Just so this thing isn't ever being backed up. So it can always be making shit. So that the lines back here aren't backed up with the shit that should be being used to be made into shit. You know? Shit, 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 shit. Now, what was the last thing I needed for rubber to be made into? Oh, shit, yeah. So we need the fucking motors being made on this level, transported to a level two, where we can have smart playing being fed into and then all that. Yeah, Jesus. Well, at the moment, I don't actually have rubber being made, do I? I only have plastic, so it's not like we have to worry about that being piled up again. So next episode, we will work on the second level and we'll focus on getting this modular engine being made. Out of episode, I'll link everything at the other node 
to the truck station so they're all being siphoned over here so we need smart plating being siphoned over here we need nothing else for that yeah so it's just smart plating we need from the steel factory and the next episode we will build a level two where we have motors being siphoned through i'll go and change that the machines over at the fuel plant are making rubber so that could be brought over here and then we can have smart plating being brought over here and then we can get the wiring the circuit board the heavy modular frames and the computers being transported to the second level and all siphoned into what a manufacturer yeah manufacturer so we can ma start making these two things and i was just thinking how am i going to get the adaptive smart plating whatever the fuck it was called and the rubber from here up to the second level because if we split one of these off it's going to get the shit that is needed down here onto the second level that where it's not needed so i think i might actually feed everything through here the adaptive smart plating and the rubber goes through all these machines all the way to the end where it goes up a conveyor lift onto the second level and then it's fed into the machine that it needs to be fed into cool it's just gonna be a huge mess up on that second level because we're gonna have like things being fed up from this side things being fed up from this side but also things being fed up from the back so what i could do is like a 1.5 level which is one wall tall where everything's being combined into one conveyor lift and then that's being siphoned onto the next level perhaps i'll think of it all out of episode or maybe just leave it for a brain fart in next episode so you guys can look at that and laugh at that <laughs> but fuck yeah look at this Copper sheets have been delivered over here so they can siphon into here, make circuit boards, and automatically be siphoned into here so that we can automatically be making computers, which is the next step that I was desperately trying to work towards, but really wanted to work towards it in an episode so you guys can see the progress that I'm making rather than just like the cosmetic progress that I'm making, which isn't something that like is fun to watch because I play something down and I'm like, eh, it'll be better the other way. Then I'm like, eh, maybe it was better the first way. Oh, actually, let's put it a different way. Actually, no, let's put it the first way. No, that different way was better. It's a whole fucking fuzzle, <laughs> but dope. I think we're done for this episode. Yeah, I've been recording for an hour. Oh my god. This shit cuts down really well, but editing these episodes takes so fucking long. Oh well, Tiss is the process. As always, if you have any more tips or tricks, leave them below. They help out a lot. Make sure you go into absolute incremental detail on how to do those tips because most times I'm reading stuff and I'm like, I have no idea what the fuck you're talking. I can see what you're trying to tell me, but I don't know how to implement that into my system. <laughs> so yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a beautiful day. See you in the next episode. Uh, bye! <laughs>